Hi guys and welcome back. We're here with another part of our Wrath of Sparta campaign with myself and Scrim. Hello. And uh, we had a small crash slash problem. So the like the end, last turn in that end turn didn't save um, basically. So we redid the turn and the Ionian League chose not to attack Scrim at uh, Kyristos. So we've uh, just started basically from like this this new sort of yeah entire, almost new universe almost but it's not yeah really um not a lot's really changed apart from the battle not happening so i hope you guys enjoyed that random battle we had last time yes um, that is basically but, what we did we just did that for fun <laughs> yeah basically there's, there's nothing else has changed my army is not being attacked probably because it is a walking beast of an army so i need to decide whether or not i go for parallos or pare i think i might go for parallos though because um, if i attack the athenian uh, settlement uh, that could be retaken by Macedonia. So if I leave that alone, that kind of almost adds as a blocker because um, Athens hasn't got much of a military presence. They're building a farm, so I highly doubt it's going to be much use to. Yeah, Pharsalos would be certainly a good place to take because then it actually connects up mine and your lands in the north. Yeah, it does. And they have a barracks in there, which I don't want them building stronger units from. And like I say, until Athens builds an army there, it is pretty much. Athens, you know... uh, I don't know if you can see this, Athens has a full stack army on force march at dion fion at dion d-i-o-n oh i can't see that yeah it's just further north just so you will have a so you don't want to do expand too quickly also macedon will have armies still in the region indeed i could of course very slowly and cautiously just march up to the larissa but i don't think that's a smart move so let's take over pharalos i'm so triggered that you can't say it right <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's um, basically the entire bar is uh, yellow. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure if I'm going to win this. <laughs> I'm going to be cautious and protective stance. <laughs> Just by the skin of my teeth, I think. Whew. By the skin of my teeth. You're going to win it. I'm... Yep, 12 men. Ah, I can't, I can't, nice. can't. I have to fall back. I've only lost <laughs> 12 men. Um <laughs> It's a lot of provisional instability, though, which I'm not too thrilled about. Mm. If I raise it, though, it's only 18 turns. Hmm, it's up to you. I mean, it's your um, it's also your culture in that region. It's Bo very true, actually. It's yeah, it's Boatian culture. I don't think that really helps, but I just thought I'd add that. I think it it might do. Let's have a look. I've only occupied it. Um, culture? No, culture does not matter, which yeah. is amusing. Oh well, it, it, we. We gave it a try. Level two horses, yes, please. I will upgrade my cavalry to level two horses. Yeah, I used that temporarily, and then uh, my army got killed. <laughs> my army got <laughs> my army got splattered. Let's see if I can upgrade my cavalry here as well. <gasps> no, it doesn't. It has to be in the region. Oh well. Uh, right. So now, obviously, I'm pushing north. I need to carry on building up my army. So we'll get another unit of that. Another unit of that. Some more of them. Um. I don't really want to move my army from Andros because mm -hmm. it's not quite ready, I don't think, for well, public order alone. So I'm going to reduce my taxes in that province to zero. That makes public order zero. Bit of an econ economical hit, but I haven't got much of a choice, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to move my spy further up north, so to towards a Dion a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, luckily, I don't have to worry about my west side because you're there. So yeah. It's dealing with the Macedonian threat north, which I think I'm in the I'm in a good place for, which I could probably do very soon. Excellent. But we'll find out, won't we? Yeah, we will. I uh, just need to figure out what I'm going to build in this settlement. Huh, what what else do you do? Livestock. Okay, that's um. Hmm. One of the settlements that um, Macedonia has is Argos Oristikio, and it earns them fourteen hundred. Nearly. 50. Where's that? It's right in the north. It's near the iron settlement. It's. I can't. I can't see that north again. Can you not? Oh, no, I haven't wow. got any sp spies or anything up there. I've only got a spy in Larissa. Um, I don't think there's a lot more I can do really. I mean, I was going to upgrade uh, my Odeon in Calchas, but I haven't quite got quite got there yet. So I think that'll I'm... provide me an extra yeah. five public order, which will be a massive bonus for me. Yeah, I think I am going to try and defend Mende. I'm going to try and slap a general in with a small army. And um, maybe mercenaries and uh, see what happens. And I might as well because it's um, looking at politics. Yeah, now my risk is down to 38% chance of us. 
civil war i might put in like a small army with the disciples of zeus who aren't very loyal and then go and just watch as the general just dies yeah dies defending or something like that because tactical tactical death yeah byzantians just like producing um troops like a militia army militia hoplites for days and their their upkeep is 58 for th um, them which is hmm. ridiculous that's real instead of exempting taxes i can actually reduce them down to nothing and i get more money off of it <laughs> and it's only minus one so i'm just going to reduce my taxes to nothing and get a little bit more income excellent i mean it's not but <laughs> <laughs> issued recruit a spy i might i might recruit a spy what do i get from it clandestine pr practices which just gives like extra success for my spies but i don't really do a lot oh actually i did lose my spy i think he got bribed or she got bribed did uh socrates come along oh no no i know why it's because she was training in olynthos in that army that then got destroyed ah uh... so she just died with like Whatever. So, Disciples of Zeus, I've got a guy here. He can be used. He doesn't cost anything to in bring in. So, um, Harpy's Claw, reinstate you. So, I'll reinstate some of these armies that I've actually lost. Um, and then, mine cost 74 to my militia hotplates. Jesus. I'll bring in a lot of them. How many can I? Oh my god, how many can I do? <laughs> One, two, six units a turn. Well, every two turns. Plenty going on then. Yeah. Oh, also the agreeing axemen are only a hundred. Upkeep. I'll do that for now. God. Yeah, I'm looking at fifty-five myself. For militia hotplates. Yeah, I think my research technology has helped out a little bit with that. That's really good. To be fair. That's really good. What can we get here? Eighteen. I'd like to get. Oh yeah, because I'm getting tragedy and comedy to improve my public order, which is going to be a massive help yeah. in this very rebellious Uboa. Yeah, that will be good. Just make them happy. Have a bit of tragedy and throw a bit of romance in there. Make them laugh. <laughs> Maybe stab them again if you try it on. Um, I'm just going to keep this army recruiting slingers. That's possibly one too many slingers. Four should do for now. Then. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Um, you need to... I'm going to move you up to... Oh, now. this makes me happy. I just realised my units are replenishing very quickly because I've got a, a storage pit, which makes me very happy. Very nice. I'm going to send you up to Dodonna because I might just try and keep the Thessalian League at bay with this one army. And then... I don't know. We'll see. I would like to build another army as well. It's l literally their only settlement, isn't it? Yeah, I'd like to build another army as well so I can support, so I can invade Macedon with two armies. Like two, maybe a full stack and certainly like a th three quarter full stack. So if you get your hands on our uh, Nissa, you get that iron settlement. And uh, like, let me tell you, it does wonders. Yeah, I'd like to uh, be able to do that. But yeah, I'm basically, apart from... Ma I like balance of power with generally like everyone... I am very much stronger than everyone, even you. Then, even balance of power. Yeah, with like balance of power. If you go on um, diplo diplomacy, like say, if you'd win a war, the only person I'd lose to is Persia, apparently. But it's Persia's only, meant to be like that. Yeah, but fair. only just, only just would I lose to Persia. I think the problem I have is I'm a bit like Sparta. I have these massive armies which are just absolute like steamrolls everything. Mm. But there's only like three of them or two of them. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to build a fleet, another fleet in the south, made up of the disciples. I'm slowly getting there myself. The disciples of in Athens. Build in Athens and then put a load of... Oh. A load I just realised. What? My admiral is the uh, politician that wants to rebel against me. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just removed him from an army for a reason, but... Never mind. Never mind. Right, can I adopt anyone else? I'd like to keep adopting people. <laughs> Requires two authority more than target zeal. Oh. That makes no sense. Well, I'd like to do it to you, really. Or could I make you adopt people? Uh, no, but you can have two authority. Please when... love me. Yes, Take please. me with you. Yes, basically. I like how um, the woman uh, that's like I've just adopted as well can just like have abilities and they're like well none of these are any useful because you're never going to lead an army <laughs> sort of thing 
Um, I could secure a promotion. I might do it for this guy. Secure promotion. I need to look at my politics next turn, I think. Uh, I can't you secure you any promotions. Can I make you adopt people yet? Oh no, it's not part of the family's bloodline, so I can't force him to... <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I can't make him adopt people. Get, like, the adopted people to adopt more people, and then just <laughs> keep it going from there. Basically yeah. absorb the family into yours. Yeah. But unfortunately we can't, so oh well. I wonder, what are your garrisons in here? Not a very big one. Huh. I... Next turn I might try and get... Oh, it's going down to minus 29 is the risk for rebellion or civil war so we're okay what am i doing in technology oh i'm doing platoism so it gets tax up excellent anyway i'm gonna end the turn and we'll see what happens i've bit done more building of armies and stuff like that so we'll see whether that helps okay that okay that that army that i've just built yeah it's gonna die <laughs> what what's happened oh do you mean in the mende uh, yeah athens attacked <laughs> you're building an army in mende yeah, I, I, I decided, decided to build one there to try and defend it. They looked like they were going to walk past it. Yeah. Yeah, not happening. Um, How's I, it I might, I might just all resolve and not even bother because I, mm, I don't know. No, we'll uh, fight it. We'll fight it. We'll fight you're it. You're gonna fight it. Yeah. How? how... It's not looking. Oh boy. Uh, oh, that's that's. Oh, I'm not sure actually. I think I've lost. To be honest, it's. Oh, it's unfortunate. I we'll also, it. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fighting this. We're fighting this. Let's see what happens. If you can hold that settlement to the north as well. Yeah, I should have um, bought more mercenaries, possibly. But hey, but hey, if I think if I win this one, then Byzantium comes in in their turn and just crushes me. So. Yeah. True. So I, uh, I don't really know if it will really be worth it. But we'll find out. Ah, it's a typical settlement. I think, it, to be honest, I think we've seen this settlement quite a few times because we've fought here so many times. Do you think the architect just went around the Hall of Greece and went, I can build you a really awesome village. Watch yeah. this. Yeah. A nice, quick, slap up village. <laughs> so you get out of Kia. Yeah. You want a new village? No problem. Done. Yeah, I'm looking at the same kind of stuff as last time, just not as many. Um... Light hot plates? <laughs> no. Ranged units, actually. Oh. I'm gonna put you over here. In fact, I've got literally no ranged units apart from my axemen and. Hmm. How oh, interesting. I have all of you here, and then. I certainly put you guys over here. Oh my gosh! They just can't. CA can't help but have more choke points than ever. In this game. <laughs> Actually, no, there's no point. Just hold there, then. And there. Uh, I don't even know what to do with this. I hate cavalry and siege battles. I usually disband them or tell them to withdraw. I just find them very useless. Hmm. It's alright when you're the defender, but as an attacker, they're just like... Eh. <sighs> mm. I've found it even more... There's so many choke points in this... Goddamn settlement. I can't even defend them all. That's why I prefer future games like Attila and stuff where you get all the. You actually get walls of everything. Yeah. It's so frustrating right now. We've only ever had one walled battle and that was Athens, wasn't it? Yeah. And even then. It's because we've not got anywhere near their walled settlements yet. <laughs> I saying. might be I might be marching there next turn. Oh, we might see us walls. Because I've I've got an ability which enables night battles, so I can completely negate the reinforcements. Ah. I need to get that. Oh god, I've left some um guys well outside the wall. Um where can I land you guys? Oh you can just have to wait your turn. <laughs> Wait your goddamn turn. Please wait in orderly fashion. Please observe the yellow line. <laughs> Literally. Actually, we put you over here. To be fair, you're looking pretty, uh, pretty okay. I think. Uh, I've turtled very nicely. Looking okay, but it's not great. I rather would uh, have more boys. <laughs> 
If yeah, like I said, if I win this, I think I I, I lose it in the. Uh, You'll lose it in the subsequent turn, yeah. Yeah, in either the t this very same turn or the turn after, because I'm not quite sure what Byzantine's doing, to be honest. What have you got? You've not got much. Yeah, did you say you've not got much range? You got one, two, three, four. Mm. I said some things. I can't remember. You've got five. Uh, yeah. yeah if, uh, no, you got four units of range, I think. So yeah, well, that's... Like medium missile infantry. Yeah, javelins, aren't they? Hmm. They're okay. Mm. Okay. Agrianian. Axemen, yeah. I think they're only medium because they've got some armor, haven't they? I don't. Uh, that's. I can't tell. They won't tell me. <laughs> it won't say. Right, you go there. You go there. Oh, you're deaf. Actually, no, you are set how I want you to be set. Um, hurry up and get in the goddamn city, you fools. Um, get in the city, you fools. Um, can you go, like, here, please? Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing about this. This is this settlement is just so open. Oh my gosh, is this, this, the amount of fire that's coming in. See, the Axemen are being re... Oh, no, they're actually doing a job, the, I think. The Agri aren't in Axemen, but they throw javelins. Oh, ho, ho, they are doing... Getting absolutely destroyed. It's one of those moments where I don't recognise the unit as well as I'd like to, so... Are you just sending not... them into their deaths? Uh, they're Axemen to me. <laughs> Axemen are Axemen. <laughs> yeah. See, my general likes to walk at a leisurely pace compared to his men. <laughs> He's a lazy man. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> um, actually, can you face that way? There we go. Oh, you weren't actually facing the right way. Well, good thing I was looking. <laughs> I'm not? What? No, no, no. No, my men. Not yours. I was going to say. Not yours, Scream. It's not all oh, about you. Oh, lights. Eh. Eh. I hate harp lights. Uh, send you in. You say that, but they're, they're going to lose. They're losing combat, apparently, some of my guys. They're losing. Jeez. You just funneled all your troops into the, into the center, haven't you? Yeah, well, there were so many choke points. <laughs> what else have I got to do? Um, Defend, defending the field? Got to be joking me. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, it's true. I'm completely ignoring my troops. There we go. Okay, let's get you. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Just shoot at the people like out there. Oh, good to see the Agrianian axemen are dying. <laughs> Doing their job properly. Okay, and then all of uh, mine can now charge in, have they? Uh, since they've run out of ammo. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if I'm killing my own men or uh, or not. I think it might be a yes on that. Ah, well. Oh, and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Unfortunately, one of my... I think I spread myself too thin. Because this is why... Mm. Well, we'll find out. Well, one line's definitely holding. Well, who's using all their ammo? You have. Charge in there then, lad. I'm just, uh... Just using my ammo. Oh! Hi. How I you doing? What you done. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? 
We'll have none of that chap cheek. <laughs> that cheek. Oh, I see. How you doing, guys? Well, it's time to rain. Oh, God, you fuckers. <laughs> I feel like something's made you a little bit upset. Yeah, you're not getting your cavalry through there as well, pal. <laughs> um, I think I did. Well, it's not fair. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, but... Well, ish. I don't know what they're doing. Their job yeah. isn't one of them. In you go. Yeah, that's annoying that my general's just like... Done that. But hey, I'm mincing your general with all those uh, missiles. But you're now mincing my mm. uh, missiles with all those goddamn cavalry. Yeah, I'm getting irritated because I don't quite know what to... Oh, you're waiting for me to break formation now, weren't you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wasn't. Hmm. No, because you just charged in as I broke my heart. Yeah, I, just, I, I realized that you were standing off and I just charged in. It was just a happy coincidence. Oh, I'm breaking your front line. Yeah, I noticed. I, I don't think it was ever going to hold because you've got quite a lot of resources there. That was the plan. It's still close. It's very close. Uh, come on, break the archers. I need you elsewhere. Oh, these cavalry are useless. They're not useless, they're just... not very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're good, I think. They just, you've, uh, they're just you they better in the field than they are in like, this situation. We've not used them. That's why I don't use them in uh, sieges. Uh, yeah, I know what I've done wrong here. Basically, the, the hot plights are just not armoured. I need to send them into one place. Uh, but you're going to break some of mine by the looks of it. No. Come on, boys. Do whatever needs to be done. Oh, there goes my general. Excellent. Ah. That's why I don't like lightly armored units. They're useless. They're not useless. Nah. <laughs> I I like, I'm a tank. I like to roll in and steamroll things. This oh. is not. Yeah. I've just realized one of my units is like all the way like out there. Um, can you come around here, please? Oh, no, we'll go here. I'm gonna call a general retreat now. You forcing you telling them all to retreat? Yeah. Or are you just gonna re reattack? No, I'm retreating. Full on. Oh wow. I'm I'm a tactical general. If I know a defeat, like I I kind of saw too late, then I will save my men's lives. You're just letting Athens survive another day. <laughs> what, those two militia hoplites? <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. I mean, then the general. And uh, the javelin, men, which are damn near broken anyway. No, the general's still stuck, so. Yeah. He can general's die. very. The general's dead, in fact. I don't have anything to save there. It's just yeah. what's left over here. Yeah, it's just that slight hoplite unit as well. Yeah, they're just keeping you occupied. <laughs> Sport. <laughs> Because I tell them to retreat, as soon as they turn their back, half of them get killed. Yeah, that's true. That's why you need a that's why you need like a rear guard. Hence why that last unit was left to die. Ah well. It was worth it. <laughs> Jokes if you now kill my general. That would be pretty cool. Actually, ah. where is my general? Well he's dead. Oh no, he's very you're dead. In the, you're in the rear anyway, so. Yeah. yeah there we go. Battle is shutting in my favour. Ah. Oh, well, I'm just gonna fast shall we just, I was going to say, shall we just fast forward? Yeah, just... this is just... Watch my men f run away. Well, couldn't you just concede defeat? I could do. Especially when do. this... Yeah, this unit's going to break anyway, so you might as well just do that. Just go... Yep, there we go. 
Yep, that's broken. We might as well just call it a day there then, because there's no point. Oh, you're about, no, you're, you're caught up to my units now. You oh, yeah, I'll them. take them. <laughs> Agrian and Gaxman <laughs> can keep fighting these guys. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, they're all breaking now. There we go. Excellent. I won't continue the battle. That's the first Whoa. battle ever I've won in this goddamn <laughs> campaign, it feels like. <laughs> I've misused the units. Yeah, well, I don't know how I survived, to be honest. Those Agriani Axemen certainly earned Your pay. Axemen did a lot. Yeah, your Axemen, you used them correctly, because I see them just as Axemen, not as Javelinmen, and that, I think that's where my mistake was as yeah, well. Yeah, you got to use them as... And they are very much support units. They're quite good for flanking, i found. And anti-cav. They're actually fairly armoured against cavalry, but obviously that didn't help you since I had no cavalry. Yeah, my cavalry unit did a lot of damage, though. 148 kills. Yeah, I just need to hope now that I can just bring in those uh, militia hoplites before Byzantium comes in and just destroys me. Takes it, right? Is there a Byzantium army up there? Yeah, like 18 stack. Oh, mate. Yeah, it's not looking good. That's an auto resolve, isn't it? Yeah. If they come in this turn, yeah. Enslave, oh. I get a lot of wealth. Ooh. I'm going to release. I know it doesn't. It brings gives them a few men back, but I get a thousand quid out of it, so I might as well do that. Before I lose this settlement, Athens um, is uh, running away back to the settlements in the west, yeah. east even, well, and south for some reason. <laughs> oh, they're coming back now. Oh, goody! I was gonna say we only got to Athens. There's so much more that could happen. I'm still interested to see what that little uh, island down south is planning because uh, that used to be all white, like the faction colours. Now one's grey. So I wonder if there's been a rebellion of some sort. Uh, here comes Byzantium. Yeah. Rolling oh, well. in, I'm not even going to try and defend this one. <laughs> no, my units are knackered. I will... Yeah, oh well. That that's, uh, that goes, that army. And that yep, settlement. Just, I've just saw that switch sides. <sighs> oh dear. Oh well, I finally lost those settlements. Not that they they were there for some time though. I've had, held them for ages. I should have tried to push on earlier. And take them, I think. Maybe spend money on mercenaries. But, oh, I think well. you're just kind of trying to consolidate where you were to begin with, I think. I did. Well, yeah, but they ha I had them to start with, so it was kind of part of the whole plan. Kaidonia's bringing over more... It's landing... It's Kaidonia's landed. landed! Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm gonna Macedonia. Leave... Yeah, well, what's Macedonia doing? It's just reinforced the city I'm looking at. Oh, no, it's just left it. Okay. So do I push in and lose my little settlement, or what do I do? I don't know, will you lose your little assignment, definitely? Or? Yeah, I, uh, well, probably. Why don't you engage? I don't, know, I don't know where their armies are. Why don't you uh, engage their army that's fallen back, or can you not see it? I can't see it, I'm going to move my spy across. The only problem is, if I do that, it also do, paves way to Oreos, which is I was going to say, undefended. why don't you take Ferreira, then? Why don't you move to take Ferreira, instead of Larissa? And then make Larissa your last, like, stop. Let's see where their armies are first. Yeah, I'd hire a spy. Okay. Or hire a spy or something like that. Okay, they're currently starving because they've got no food. So I might wait a while to watch their armies just slowly diminish. Because mm -hmm. that that can't be good for them. Yeah, I'm. I mean, even. Oh, oh, sorry. No, no, no. Go on. So that army can't reach Pharalos mm -hmm. without force marching, and they're already starving away. Larissa is damaged, and the militia slowly starving away. And I've only got a small army coming up as well. So. Worth a shot. <laughs> it is. I'm just cautious because the Ionian League are just kicking about. My navy's not strong enough yet. Yeah, I can't really see that part of the world, so I can't tell you what. I mean, I'm trying to intercept as many because I've got a big navy that's just like able to go, has the ability to go around and do anything. So it's intercepting as much as possible. Rhodes is bringing up a nice 20 stack navy as well, which I am looking forward to trying to intercept. With my navy and that's all transports a transport army i've decided i'm gonna sit out a turn because again they're starving boo <laughs> i'm joking that's fair enough i know I'm, I'm just cautious if i lose that settlement that would pave the way to oreos and if i can starve them out a little bit further that would be a very quick and easy battle yeah that's fine i might be able to take a layer because um, they, um they've they've moved on Diplomatic, plus 20 diplomacy of the owner of a local region while deployed. Where's a decent trait you could have? Um, Where's a decent inn? Experience for a new heavy body armor. Oh, okay. Um, 
No. Oh, maybe. No. 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 Mm. No. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I have no idea what any of these do, so I'm just going to go for the one that gives me more money. Okay. That gave me absolutely no more money whatsoever. Okay. Okay, we move on. <laughs> my turn. Very... Yeah, indeed. Because if they're starving, I'm going to take advantage of that, because their army's only half strength. I'm going to wallop them. Oh, Olympic Games, something happened. But I've just seen honourable death, this guy, and like, oh no, how sad this man died. <laughs> oh dear, what a pity, never mind. Is that your Poseidon guy? Yeah, like, just um, hey. disciples of, like, Zeus or Hera or one of the other. Yeah, he just, like, died. <laughs> he oh, died. No. I'm going to spend money on some loyalty um, for the faction. I'm then also now going to do... I think one of the techs that you can do helps with... Um, helps with bringing loyalty to your factions, but that oh, might yeah. be, like, right at the end or something. I know you can in, like, in um, the uh, main game, but that's the main game. Um, my po my civil war succession rate's gone down to four percent. I think mine's really low. Oh, it's thirty-two. No, it's gone up <laughs> if anything. <laughs> but then again, we've not seen. Um, I've not done like the end of this turn yet, so it could go could go down again. Um, I kind of want to go through maybe tragedy. Uh, no comedy next, but I'm not I'm currently sure. doing. I'm going through tragedy and comedy currently. Smash oh, no, through that. No, I'm going to go through um, historiography. Minus 20% his political action costs. That means I can spend less money on uh, boosting popularity and stuff like that. Historical, which one's that? It's historiography. It's under philosophy. It takes three turns. It might be worth... Oh, uh, yeah, I've got that one. Ah, nice. Anyway, I'm going to take a layer. I might have to wait till uh, the next episode, though, to to actually do it. I might also be spending a lot of money on mercenaries. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. Settlement into siege. That's still not actually putting good odds. So I will build a load of mercs and we'll wait. <laughs> What's that? 2,000. A lot of mercs. Let's see. I'm going to just keep testing it and see if I can auto-resolve it. Because I'd rather auto-resolve than fight this battle. It's, it sounds sucky, but it's a lot of effort. It's yeah. a lot of effort to siege this city down. Mind you, six turns as well. Yeah, but they have an army nearby, and I just don't want them to come back and replenish. Uh, yeah, replenish yeah. the uh, the garrison. Uh, Fifty-three. I'm gonna try and get a few more mercenaries in, which I can do. I can bring in some. Which are the cheapest? The Thracians. You peasanty Thracians, you're worth nothing. Ah, that help? Yes, it does. Puts it to 64, so we'll do that. So this takes out a layer in the Thessalian League. Makes them very, very dangerous because they have nowhere to go. So they, that 11 stack may start doing things. Dying off. Well, hey! And there's a 6 stack. Where can that... That 6 stack also can't reach in one turn, so excellent. Right, I'm now also going to get rid of all of these mercenaries. Because... Uh, I don't want to... Actually, I'll keep the Agrian Axemen because they only cost 88 in this army. 88. That's like just about as expensive as um, normal um, units, really. Commander. Yeah, I mean, my, my Hoplites are 107, so they're not too far off. Yeah. And then we'll build two more Hoplite units here. And then we are... Oh, I can build some more units, obviously, in this army. Light Hoplites. Please? Yes, we'll do that. So I've still got 3,000 to spend. And then uh, we'll see. Oh, spend it on maybe some ships, I think. Oh, they take three turns. Maybe not. <laughs> hmm. No, 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 not today. Um, Can this navy probably not reach that? No, it can't. So we'll wait. I will recruit some more ships then. Maybe some uh, like melee ones because we could do some more melee oh it's so annoying that I can't reach any of these goddamn uh, Ionian League settlements because I just need if to get you take, if you take out one of them that would be grand I know but it's really hard <laughs> it's really hard yeah especially with Athens and Macedonia now joining the fray
Yeah, Macedonia especially, and now they've got a fleet in the Aegean as well. It's just a problem. Yeah. But we'll, we, we're grinding away at them, so... We're getting there. We're getting uh, there. Now that the Thessalian now... League's gone as well, I can put all my focus just on... Um, Oh, I just realised why they're starving because I took out a settlement and they gave them four food per turn, and now the entire area is starving for them. Oh wow! No wonder they're no wonder they're getting killed off. I'm gonna put an amphitheatron in. That's good, amphitheatron, and then an open air market, which gives a lot of stuff. Oh, that's very nice. Um, so yeah, I think I can do. A oh, can I raise raise any more troops? Oh, they're four, so no. Um, so yeah, that is probably going to be the end of the episode, I think, guys, though, because we have hit the half hour mark. Um, we have done a fair about a fair amount. You've uh, taken some more land. I've taken some yep. more land and lost some. Slowly progressing. But um, yeah, we'll uh, pick it up in the next uh, episode very, very soon. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please like and subscribe and also check out Scrim's channel for his perspective of the campaign. And until next time, guys, bye for now.